you are a great interviewer. This is, we're still recording, but ah. just, you're a great interviewer. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to, this will all be, this will all be edited out. You, you have a great pace. I always thought of myself as the color guy. Right. But basically the, the trick is ask a couple of questions, get them to talk. Yes. That's the It's trick. not about me. No. You know, it's not about me. It's, it's not about, about what you know. Right. It's about what the guest knows. Yeah. And making the guests feel good. Feel important. Feel and, important. And perhaps riff off what they have to say. You can add stuff. Sure, but, absolutely. No, I've struggled with uh, a couple of things in the in the channel is that it's something that I feel is normal because it's something that happens to me every day. I, I think about suicide every day. Right. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's not. And the way that I deal with it. And I thought it's normal. And when you tell people that, they're like, that's no, not normal. Yeah, that scares the crap out of them. Yeah. And so I exercise, intense exercise. Not so much walking. Walking can make you feel better. But intense exercise, I literally can feel a weight come off of my yeah, brain. Yeah. I don't know if we're still, uh, I don't know if we're on the air again or not, but I, I feel like this part will... Probably be edited out. But well, no, uh, we I feel like I feel like this my this little segment might might make it might make the cut. So I'm gonna put my shades back okay. on. But you and I first met. One of the things we first had in common with is uh, Disney World. Yep. And my wife and I were we're older now, so we have a house in Florida. It's about 30 miles from Disney, but so we have a pass. And when we're feeling really crappy, we go and walk around Disney World for yep. a couple hours. And I mean, you feel better. Walking is it, man. And you talk about suicide. I have many times thought about that with myself. And one time even made a real lame-o attempt at it. Exercise will make you, but also just turn on the news. There's a hell of a lot of people oh, yeah. way worse off than us. Oh, yeah. I think one of the things that I've also thought of is one of the things that stops me most of the time is, is the thought of failure. Yeah. You can fail. And the problem with failure with suicide is then your life is infinitely worse than it was yeah so if you fit it's like okay but because I, I because i work for the railroad there are people that try to kill themselves by train yeah and fail a lot and that's very unfortunate yeah <laughs> So, don't mean to laugh. It's not. It's not nice. I it's not it, a funny subject, but the problem is if you don't talk about it with some sort of reality, reality, then you're not doing anybody any good. My story is I talked about my friend John, who his whole family, a lot of his family, suffered from depression. And to be completely honest with your audience, I didn't really believe in it. To be honest with you, uh -huh. until I saw, and I played golf with John for 25, 30 years. He's about 10 years younger than me, and until I realized he was actually starting to suffer to the point where I would I took him to the hospital a couple of times when you realize that it is a real thing and people really suffer from it you have to be so so careful about how you handle it yeah and you know he, he fell through the cracks and I to this day think that I could have avoided it I, I could have helped him avoid it and everybody will say oh it's not your fault and I'm thinking yeah kind of it's everybody's fault it's, everybody's it's kind of it's kind of everybody's fault yeah but then again most people I mean it's like I don't say anything to anybody generally you know you come you flow in and out of it you don't necessarily say anything and in the world that we live in we're kind of insulated it's not like talk about italy in different areas where the family connection is yes. no the, the community the community connection is so tight that that doesn't happen so much it's when you isolate yourself when it's an issue that's a north american problem yes the yep. isolation yep yep i mean because of the nature of the work and the things somehow in north america I, I think there's a lot of people who are find themselves very isolated and it's a hard thing to struggle with yep like you say if you fail and i i, just, I don't want to my friend john did me a huge favor like i said i even uh -huh. tried it once it was a real lame-o attempt it was like pathetic and i just think to myself eh, it's just not the way to go no. you think it's the way to go but it's not they walk around the block go for a 30 minute walk and then if you still feel the same way at the, after the end of the 30 minutes which you won't but if you did that would be the time to call the crisis hotline right you're probably a little more together that's your that's your watermark if you go out and do a walk and you come back and you're still feeling the same way then call a crisis hotline because those people actually care and we and jim cares and i care everybody a weekend. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's Jim the Hammer. Jimmy the Hammer. He's out. We're out. Again. <laughs>